in indian chronology system why are the names of the days of week arranged in the order of sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday how did those names come up for the days of the week who named them why should sunday come after saturday what's the science behind these names come let's make a small effort to know through this video the seven planets are the reason for fixing seven days in a week the names of these planets are assigned to the days of the week it was decided that the system of marking a period between the day and the month would be a week but those weeks to be arranged in the same order there is a mathematical and astronomical background to it although the names of the planets are assigned to the days they are not related but look how interesting this background is only seven planets were counted for calculating a week that's because uranus and neptune are recent discoveries and their distance from the earth is so much and they would not have much effect on human life hence only seven planets were taken into account this is our solar system saturn is the farthest planet from the sun starting from the farthest planet saturn moving towards the sun there are jupiter mars earth venus and mercury in that order this is a sun centric calculation according to indian astrology earth is at the center so they interchanged the position of the sun and the earth the earth satellite moon also moved to the center with the parent planet earth whatever the reality this is just a small imaginary change made for easy calculation According to the imaginary variation it appears that the earth remains static and sun revolves around it causing the rise and setting of the sun so according to this hypothetical system of the solar system the farthest planet saturn followed by jupiter then mars with the sun in the earth's orbit then venus and mercury the moon which moved to the center along with earth were decided as a seven planets Currently even sun and moon are included in the list of the planets according to this latest change the earth is not a planet but the center point this is a hypothetical doctrine which the astronomers used to make astronomical calculations easier the period of a day starting from sunrise of one day to the sunrise of next day morning was called ahoratra aho means period of the day sunrise to sunset ratra means the period of night from sunset to sunrise taking into consideration the average duration of the day in a year they divided into 24 horas each of these divisions is called a hora the word hora is two syllables in the middle of the word ahoratra the duration of hora is equal to 1 hour In fact it is believed that hora is actually the root of the word hour there are 24 horas in a day now let us arrange the orbital periods of the planets starting from the farthest from earth in descending order first is saturn which takes longer time then jupiter next mars sun venus mercury and the moon however this order does not align with the names of the days of the week now witness a special secret phenomenon hidden here as mentioned earlier there are 24 horas in one day let us assume that the ruler of the first hora of saturday is shani or saturn the ruler of the second hora then will be jupiter the third would be mars fourth sun fifth would be venus sixth mercury and continuous so on with moon being the seventh thus ending the first seven horas of the day from the eighth hora the cycle repeats with the saturn as the ruler 
Similarly, Saturn is the ruler of the 15th hora and 22nd hora. Since each day divided into 24 horas, the 25th hora will be considered the first hora of the next day. The ruler for the 25th hora will be the ruler for the new day. That means if starting from Saturday, the ruler of the 25th hora will be the sun. The day will be a Sunday. If starting from Sunday, the 25th hora of that day will be calculated as the first hora of the next day with moon as the ruler. So, next new day is Monday. Observe this cycle carefully. The first hora of the day is ruled by Saturn. Its 25th hora will have Sun as the ruler. In actual fact, this 25th hora becomes the first hora of the next day. According to Indian astronomy, each planet is a ruler of one day of the week. If this is followed, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The names of the days of the week are determined in this order. It's very interesting, right? My gratitude to Ahoratra guide and mentor for studies in astronomy and astrology. This is Shungapriya. Namaste friends. Many astrologers around the world are unaware of the significance of the days. Let's explore Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. How they are connected? Whether it's an Indian or foreign astrology or any corners of the world which follows astrology, this indicates the impact of Bharatiya astrology, which means Indian astrology, on whole world, worldwide astronomical traditions. The concept has been addressed by Bharatiya Astronomy and Bharatiya Astrology. Astro means light. Logi means study. Study of lights in the space, in the sky. According to these astrological theories, with Aryabhata, Bhaskara, Kanada, Varahamihira, or beyond that, Narada, Marichi, Vasista, Angirasa, Atri, Pulastya, Pulaha, Kratu. Despite the simplicity of the explanation, numerous astrologers fail to grasp this reality. And those who do comprehend it, and those who, who do comprehend it, often keep it to themselves. Many television astrologers who engage in astrology field are unaware of the theory and they also neglect to inquire about it. The true story has been concealed by astrology, causing people to question why the alignment of planets such as Sun, Mercury, Venus, Moon, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. As distant from Earth, nearer to farer. And the solar system has not occurred in weeks. The answer to this is that if a technologist like Shringapriya can make the ancient Indian Shastras technically accessible to the public, our Shastras will advance to a higher level. Thank you very much. Aho Ratra.